Welcome everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you step-by-step step how you can use an N8N workflow with the Facebook Graph API to automatically post images completely hands-free. First, open your browser and search for developer.facebook.com. Then, click on My Apps at the top right. After that, select Create App to start setting up your application. Now, enter a name for your app and click Next. On the left side, select Other, then click Next again to continue. Next, when selecting an app type, choose Business, then click the Create App button. Now, from the Tools menu, click on Graph API Explorer. Then, from Meta Apps, select your app. After that, go to Get Token and choose Get Page Access Token. Next, a Facebook pop-up will appear. Just click Continue to proceed. Now, select the Facebook page where you want to auto-post. Then, click Continue and finally, hit Save. Next, go to Add Permissions and enable the permissions you need. I will list all required permissions in the description. Then click Generate Access Token. When the pop-up appears, simply click Continue. After that, on the left side, click on Me. Then select Accounts. Finally, click Submit. First, copy your access token. Then go to Tools, open Access Token Debugger, and paste the token in the box. Click Debug, then choose Extend Access Token to get a new extended token. This extended token will work for about two months. After that, you will need to generate a fresh access token again. This step is now complete. Now, we'll move on to creating our N8N workflow. In N8N, first add a trigger node. Then, add an HTTP node. Set the method to post and paste the URL you copied from the notepad. I'll also add this URL in the description. Next, turn on Send Body. Under Parameters, choose N8N Binary File. For the name field, type Source. And for the input data field name, type Data. After that, click Add parameter. In the name field, type access underscore token. And in the value field, paste your access token. Then add another node called edit fields. In the name field, type prompt. And in the value field, enter a simple test prompt. After that, click execute step to run it. Next, add another node called Gemini message model. In the prompt box, drag and drop the prompt text from the left side. Then select a model from the list. After that, open Add option and paste your system prompt there. I already wrote my system prompt, so I'm pasting it from the notepad. If you need, you can also generate a system prompt using ChatGPT. Then add one more node called Gemini Generate Image. In the Generate Image node, we need a prompt. So first, go back to the previous node and click Execute Step. The Gemini Message model will generate a prompt for us. Then return to the Generate Image node. In the Prompt box, select a model and drag and drop the generated prompt from the left side. Now click Execute and it will create the image for us. Now, connect the HTTP node. Here, you'll notice an error. This happens because we haven't set the page ID yet. So, we need to go back to the Access Token Debugger. Scroll down and copy the page ID along with the Access Token. Then, return to the HTTP node and replace the page ID in the URL with the correct one. 
Finally, click Execute and the request will run successfully. Now let's go to the Facebook page where we set up the automation. You can see a new post has just been published. To confirm this is the same image from our workflow, let's go back to NAN. Yes, this is the image we just generated. Now I'll remove the manual trigger and add a schedule trigger instead. Here you can set any time you want. I've set mine according to my own preference. Our workflow is now complete. Just activate it and everything will run automatically. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe.